Glenn, I want to talk about something you just brought up. Oh, when we were doing bodybuilding back in the 70s, 80s, it seemed like the judges always rewarded symmetrical physiques. Like you had, like size was important, of course. You had to be in condition. You had to be cut. But they rewarded guys who had beautiful physiques, right? And, and that's something now that has seemed like it's gone away. Like if, if you look at the pros now, it's just about how big you can get. And they got to be in condition. They got to be hard as a rock. But they don't look at the shape and symmetry anymore. Yeah, it's sickening to me. I, I mean, I look at a couple of those top guys, and a lot of times I look right past them, and I don't even uh, comment because yeah. I'm not impressed. I mean, sure, you want to look big and symmetrical like Coleman? Yeah. I'm impressed, dude. Yeah. You know, there's a bodybuilder that looks fucking like a monster. Yeah. Uh, like that guy who won it? I don't even know his fucking name. Who? Way too Big Rami? Yeah, way oh, too thick. Oh, you yeah, know, yeah. yeah. Uh, his legs are too fucking big. Yeah, yeah. But that's what they want now, right? I mean, that's yeah. yeah I, don't I, know. It, I, know. I don't like it at all. I thought there was a move towards like classical. When, like, when, when there's something. Well, they they have um, yeah, classic physique. So yeah. And what's the guy's name that won the classic part? Uh, Chris Bumstead. Okay, I mean, he. Th I think he looks great, but he he's looks not great, even yeah. to Samir. He looks like an amateur compared to Samir. Yeah. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah. Sure, he's in shape. He looks good. He looks like, you know, a Mr. Midwest kind of guy. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Um, you talk about Zane, Samir, but um, – Labrada, McAway. Yeah. Labrada, McAway is the one I was thinking of. Labrada. Yeah. Now, those guys, I don't give a fuck who you compete against, big or not. Yeah. They, to me, look they're, fucking great. They're balanced. Right. Um, right. I would place all four of those guys ahead of this – Oversized Mr. Olympia they have now. Oversized. Right, right. And then if you put them all in the classic, the kid who won this year, he's not even close to those professionals. Right. He looks right. like a good amateur. And I'm not trying to put him down. Right, right. I mean, I just, yeah. and he's, hey, he's way better than me. Say whatever you want to say. I'm just saying he looks like an amateur still compared to our greats that we oh, see. Yeah. yeah. Zane, McAway, Banu, Lee Labrada. I mean, those guys are fucking superstars, man. Hall of Fame. I just listened to this podcast a couple of weeks ago, and they got all these pros on there. Like, they're four pros at once. It's a real popular podcast. And uh, the one guy was talking about Arnold. He said he was unbalanced. He said Arnold was unbalanced. I don't know what pictures he's looking at, you know. Yeah, what are you looking at? <laughs> and then yeah, he said no. Zane. Zane was the most overrated bodybuilder ever. Really? Yeah. Who is, who is this? I know. Never mind. Never mind. I mean, they're they're from a different era. I mean, it's all about size and exactly hamstrings and glutes and. I've yeah. seen Frank Zane on stage several times. I, I bet you, maybe half a dozen times. The guy, when the lights came on and he was under there, he was up there. Yeah, he's like a statue, man. I know. <laughs> this I is know. bodybuilding. How could you not look at him and say, "Damn, you think he won three Olympias for nothing?" Nothing. Right. Yeah. You know, and he beat some great bodybuilders like Boyer Co. was great. Yeah. Uh, name a few other guys. Yeah, they were great, but yeah. kind of like Lance. Lance was great, but Boyer Co., he didn't even have abs. Right. You know what I mean? He had right. these great, awesome arms. He yeah. didn't have a beautiful looking physique. Right. And I thought Boyer Co. was one of the nicest guys I ever oh, met. Yeah, yeah. Super. Yeah. yeah, he was one of the coolest dudes I've met.